Hello there. Welcome and guten Tag. All the good things wherever you're from, whoever you are. Welcome, welcome. This is day 21 of my 30 over 30. This series, I try to learn German in 30 days and you and I, we're both going to see, we're all going to see where that gets me. Now, I'm really pumped, I'm really excited for today because I think I have something fantastic for you guys. So without further ado, let me show you what I mean. So why did I say I'm so pumped for today? Well, let me show you then. Well, what you see here is my Anki. These are my Anki decks or some of my Anki decks here on the German decks as you can see all of them that I've shared with you so far but this one is the one that I want to deal with today so let's click on it and see where it gets us all right then here we go a simple sentence we can go on a boat now why am I so excited about this well because these combine a few things these combine vocabulary grammar maybe even some of those question words we've done recently so here I just guess what this might be so for instance I know that we is fear can should be können go in German go should be at the end as the second verb so I'm concerned with on a boat so how do we say on hmm maybe auf or maybe zu so let's try wir können auf ein Boot gehen boot is a boat according to the 100 words that are most common words and my extra Deutsche practice decks so, so let's check it out and we have wir können auf ein Boot gehen look at that I got it right in that amazing wir können auf ein Boot gehen and of course if you're familiar with Anki you have three options sometimes you have more sometimes you has you have less so one minute less than one minute I'll see it again that's the red one right here the green one says I'll see it in less than 10 minutes if I feel like it was good and if it was easy four days and I'll see it again but I want to get more practice so I'm gonna hit again and here we are another one you in plural must do what I tell you so you in plural that is ear that should be ihr müsst I think ihr müsst machen was ich dir sagen that's my guess anyway. Another thing is I don't want to fret too much about overthinking this stuff too much. I just want to try and if I'm not sure at all, or if I just don't know at all, I just hit show answer and I'll get it right away. If I did get it right, I'll hit the red one and I'll see it in a minute or so again. And this is how I practice. This is how I like to practice on public transport or wherever the situation is appropriate. So here we have, you must do what I tell you. Ihr müsst machen, was ich dir sage. All right. Du, 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 du. I'm sorry I'm messing up all the light here but I'm super happy I'm super pumped about this because these are actual sentences little modification here and there and I can say so many things I can change the noun I can change the personal pronoun this is proper language at its simplest but also very useful let's do another one shall we we can go on a boat again look at that we're back so here we go again we're können auf ein Boot gehen Sorry about that. You können auf ein Boot gehen. That's right. Oh, yeah. Right now, I can hit the green one. Oh, here we have another one. He goes to be there. Hmm, so here is er. Goes get. Er geht. Now, to be there. Hmm, I would guess that to be should be zu sein. Right? Zu is two. We know that from the 100 most common words of German. So zu should be two. Zu sein, to be. There. Oh, I'm having a memory blank. There is. Oh boy. Dann or dort. Maybe it's dort. So I'm guessing it should be. Er geht dort zu sein. Let's check it out. 
Er geht, um dort zu sein. Look at that, almost correct. I'm not sure what this um is doing there, but I'm guessing that is a preposition. Er geht, um dort zu sein. All right, this is going great. I'm just so pumped about this. Let's hit it again. And here we have our sentence that we did before. So this is what I wanted to show you for today. If you see these little numbers, um, in this corner, it gives us 23, 5 and 0. So that tells us how many cards are left. So you can see I have, ooh, what, 23 in black or blue and 5 in red. So definitely 5. Those are the ones that will keep coming back. And when I'm done with those, I should have 23 more. So there's plenty of exercise for everyone. And if you want to add your own sentences, you can certainly do that. You can hit me up in the comment section and write me that you want to add these sentences and I will add them to the deck because I'm not sure you can add them on your own since I'm the creator of this deck. But you can certainly try it and let me know if that worked. If not, send it over to me and I will make sure I'll add it into this deck. If you've created your own decks, please share them with me. I'm super excited to learn and super excited to see what you guys are learning. But I think this is just a fantastic thing and just makes me super happy and I'm just so pumped about this. Oh yeah! This has actually got me so so excited because I really feel like I'm finally getting into the sort of real language that I can talk to people a little bit which is actually what is coming up and I'm intending to learn these two verb sentences perhaps there are even some three verb sentences if you learn like basic eight verbs the ones that we got then you can combine them into like 64 different combinations now if you include three verbs in a sentence, you can have even more um, sentences, which is super, super useful. And of course, if you learn more verbs and more words and nouns, you can just expand just so, so much with a very simple, minimalistic approach and get it done very, very effectively. And I'm excited for this usefulness. And I want to prepare very thoroughly because I want to call somebody and talk to them and record it for you guys to see how it goes. But this has got me just so pumped. I will do this as much as I can because this is like the fun part for me. This is the super useful part for me. This is the part where I can kind of pretend like I actually speak German with the right pronunciation, with the right attempted right accent and all the bells and whistles that I just so much love about these things. So this has been it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this has been a short video, I'm sorry, but trust me, get inside that deck, get inside the Anki deck, check it out. Even if there's just like 30 sentences, 30 cards, trust me, it's plenty. If you don't know them, if you don't find them super easy, of course, they will keep coming back. You will be doing this for days or certainly hours like I will. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and do the stuff, do the Anki, learn those two verb sentences and oh boy, this is fun. This is exciting. Right. So if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and you will surely get the very next one. If you have anything to say, leave a comment down below. And as usual, anything useful, I will leave in the description section. Right then, right. You guys are great once again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you tomorrow. And you, you take care.